This new view from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope shows a reflection nebula with a helical shape similar of a snail's shell, which seems to spiral outward from a bright center star. The central star, V1331CYG, was formerly classified as the T Tauri star. It is part of the dark cloud LDN981, also known as Linz 981. The star T Tauri is a young star, also known as a young stellar object that is undergoing the contraction phase necessary to enter the main sequence and become a star like our Sun. The fact that we can get such a clear view of one of V1331CYG's poles is a unique feature. Dust from the circumstellar disk and the envelope often blocks our view of a young star. With V1331CYG, however, our eyes are pointed directly at the star's jet, which is responsible for cleaning the dust and revealing the galaxy's true beauty. This extremely unobstructed view of the star and its immediate surrounds allow astronomers to analyze it in more detail and search for characteristics that may indicate the emergence of a very low mass object in the outer circumstellar disk. Baby stars in the early cosmos had to adapt to an environment far different from our own. And scientists still don't know how it all worked, even while equipment like the James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to see the earliest epochs of a star's creation. Sometimes we don't have to go that far for answers. Sometimes they're right under our noses. The process of star creation is intricate. An enormous blob-like cloud of gas and dust must be compressed to density sufficient to set off nuclear fission in order to create a newborn star. Exhaust heat from the system is also required for this procedure to succeed. This is due to the fact that the compression of the gas cloud causes it to heat up and that a cloud of gas that has been heated to its critical temperature, leveraging very large observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope, is one approach to solving this issue. Professor Toshikatsu Onishi of Osaka Metropolitan University and Project Assistant Professor Kazuki Takuda of Kyushu University have developed a different strategy that emphasizes looking in the immediate vicinity, similar to the small Magellanic Cloud. Not nearly as metal-free as the early universe, but still far less so than the Milky Way's main disk, is the small Magellanic Cloud. Moreover, it's considerably more easily available to us than the early universe. Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, was recently utilized by an international team of astronomers to see a newborn star while it was forming. They saw outflows from the nascent star moving at breakneck speeds. As the gas cloud contracts, it generates very powerful electric and magnetic fields, which in turn drives the outflows. 